everybody's been waiting for it the the debate of the century me and lund are debating the conflict in the in the west bank i oh, no. <laughs> will be debating on the side of palestine and lund will be debating on the side of israel the winners they're up <laughs> big huge <laughs> Uh, Hamas had us in the first half, not going to lie. I'm like Hamas. Uh, <laughs> I want to do a jihad. Do I want any of that in there? Mm, yes. I, yes. I don't know where my home is. <laughs> it got is Nelly Furtado? Yeah. She might be Palestinian. I don't think she is. Uh, I'm gonna. Yeah, she's pretty ambiguous. She's like a bird. <laughs> she's b- half bird, half Latina. I'm like a mass. Uh, so it's me, Canadian <laughs> something, Libyan. Sorry, what were you saying? I was just gonna intro the show. I was just gonna start the show. It's called Chubby <laughs> Behemoth. It's my podcast. I do it by myself, but. <laughs> For this episode, I've got a couple friends along to ride the coattails, ride the chode tails. Patrick Richardson, Jake Becker, your hair looks ridiculous. Your mom's going to kill herself. I know. I need. What is going on? You got the top shaved? No. It's just that that that's where it it just stops growing before everything else. (laughs) (laughs) Everything else keeps growing and the top just stops. It's more that it just like quits here. (sighs) Your know. head wants it to look like it did in Japan. It wants to be crusty. It, yeah, it knows the freedom that is that. They're not crusty. Larry Fine. Yeah. Full I don't think fun. I ever... I don't think I... Did you ever have a hairline, Becker? Yeah. Can't imagine it. The that night was... the hairline was crossed. Crystal knocked. Crystal the night the hairline, hairline? That was yesterday, I think, was uh, 85 years since Crystal knocked, <laughs> you celebrate the it the, every year. <laughs> the night where every Jewish child was given a candle and a little pat on the head and said, "Happy Thanksgiving coming up in America." We don't celebrate, but here's a little gift anyway from your Nazi friends. <laughs> this is the free one. Uh, let's do it, man. Let's fucking go. Me and Jay Gillespie Furtado. said some crazy shit on here, but less people were listening, so. This time we're really gonna get get off on it. What did you say? Which slur? Oh, Jay, I let it's Jay go, and Jay twice. Jay would just kind of talk about his plan for Trinidad to to indoctrinate children to take over, kind of an Israel kind of thing, <laughs> Hamas kind of a thing, <laughs> divide and conquer, uh, indoctrinate, um, set up shop, you know, just outside of town, kind of lay low for a while, stockpile weapons. <laughs> train obviously a lot of training physical training and maneuvers and uh he's watching that taliban training video a bunch where they're doing the monkey bars yeah 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 we've we've been doing monkey bars hanging on them uh getting on top of them sitting on top of them like the cool kids i never got up there because i was too fat damn that is the cool cool kids got up there the ground is lava suave I got suave for like two seconds in high school. I was suave and I didn't even know it. Okay. I didn't even appreciate, enjoy it. I still thought I was a chubbo. And, uh, you know, Marilyn Manson girl didn't help that. <laughs> she she really shit on my little emerging diamond of a, of a bod. Aww. And uh, You lost your virginity to her? Is that mm-hmm. the lore? Yeah. In her sister's trailer... While she, while we were babysitting her two young children, and we you had call sex. her Marilyn Manson girl because she her penis is the same size as Marilyn Manson's to protect her anonymity. Did uh, she wear a lot of no? She M&M she wore shirts? Marilyn Manson shirts pretty much every day. She would sometimes wear. She had a couple other maybe Cannibal Corpse. She had a couple other bands that she would rock. Maybe Nine Inch Nails, but she was mostly Marilyn Manson girl. She wore a lot of dark, like heavy, you know, makeup. She kind of looked like Alanis Morissette, so some people called her Alanis Morissette girl, but <laughs> <laughs> nobody knew her name. <laughs> when I came that first time, I was like, oh, 
love Marilyn Manson, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't learned her name yet. But, uh... <laughs> Yeah, I was 15, so I was down for whatever. She could have been in Hamas, and I would have been like, hey, let's hang out after you go to your meeting or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> after you teach the kids how to handle a grenade or whatever, let's, <laughs> let's, maybe I'll finger you in the gymnasium uh, stairwell. <laughs> we would hang out in the stairwell of the gym. Can and you finger her there? Uh, I don't know if I fingered her there. That was definitely where we would like hang out, because she... Snog? She couldn't come to my house. She didn't want me to go to her. She made it sound like her parents were strict. Meanwhile, she just lived in a trailer. So she was, like, embarrassed. We could have been fucking in that trailer. It would have been awesome. But instead, she nope. was like, oh, my, my dad's a dick. So we have to, like, hang out, you know, at school until I get picked up. And it was, you know, not as not as fun as it would have been yeah. in a trailer. Rocking and ro rocking it. Making the parents leave because we were rocking it so hard. <laughs> my 15-year-old dick. Yeah, they would have had to leave because of the shaking. They wouldn't be able to have a tea or. That would know, have been such an alpha a move of you. I'm, I'm fucking Make your the daughter leave. in the trailer, yeah. and it's moving the trailer so much. <laughs> you have to go out for a movie. <laughs> They'd have to sneak in. Uh, so yeah, it was a, a frustrating time. I wanted more, but she was. Uh, she stuck to that fucking lie. And then years later, uh, I worked at a video store, and her parents came in, and they were sweet and kind. And so it was really weird to be like, oh, what? And so I said something. I was like, hey, I dated Elizabeth, you know, like freshman, sophomore year. And they were like, oh, yes, we remember you. Uh, you know, you seemed very nice. And I was like, why wouldn't she let me come? You know, she said that uh, you, you, like, didn't want us to hang out or didn't want me to come over and she was like the mom was like yeah she's always been embarrassed about the trailer and so she doesn't let people come over i was like wow she really fucking she really hated her life <laughs> she her was parents. dating me hated her life <laughs> her parents are randy and mr Leahy. <laughs> yeah yeah her parents were kick-ass <laughs> they wanted me to come over so we could party but I just rewatched Trailer Park Boys. It's the best. All of it? It's like no. 15 seasons. It's so long. No, once the uh, ma the main director guy left, it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. The Netflix era. Yeah, it's pretty weak. But the travel show was really good during the Netflix uh, era. I didn't think I could watch oof, that. I should watch geez, that. Jeez, sorry, everybody. Didn't Bubbles, like, I'm fucking guessing. punch a girl in the pussy or something? I think he slept with a, at least a handful of 15-year-old girls. Eesh. That's Canadian culture, though, I think. They grow up, they grow up fast there in Canada, because at 9, you're chopping firewood. At 12, you're, you know, uh, I can't, sterilizing, <laughs> neutering moose. I couldn't think of <laughs> neutering. I kept thinking. <laughs> at 14, the, the girls are trained to open their legs when they hear Rush songs. At 14, they have to serve a year in the IDF, which is crazy. Some weird, <laughs> some weird Canada Israel they thing. Just where like a they French Canadian guy is like, this is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I pledge my heart to the crown. <laughs> <laughs> it's been really entertaining to see like all these like e-girl IDF soldiers, and then like someone on Twitter will be like. Yeah, she just fucking died. It's so crazy. Like, oh the, really? Yeah, just like yeah, this sniper that had two million TikTok subscribers because she was hot just got owned. <laughs> are they? <laughs> they're not losing anybody, are they? Yeah, dude. Dude, there's How so did... many sick videos of like Palestinian people like just rocking <laughs> Israelis. It's <laughs> awesome. No, it's <laughs> it's so it's awesome. Not... <laughs> I don't think there's any Palestinian folks who are kicking ass. I think it's Hamas that has the rocket propelled grenades and shit. Mm -hmm. You're making it sound like it's a nine-year-old Palestinian kid <laughs> dude, <laughs> murking some people. <laughs> yeah, dude, they do the like... Fortnite, the Fortnite uh, champions like, are just <laughs> kicking everybody's ass. They like, and then they'll make like edits and like cut in like Metal Gear Solid footage <laughs> and then like explosions. It's tight. It's an insane world that we live in. Oh, yeah. Fucking war content. 
Biden just said that there's never going to be a ceasefire. He's like, oh, good. I'm glad that <laughs> Biden put an eye patch on, and he's like, I'm a bad dude. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid. So We're awesome. killing them all. I need some ice cream, Jack. <laughs> he's, he's sneaking up on people like Snake and fucking <laughs> Ask for putting a rag cream. on their face. Yeah, he's choking them out. He's choking them backwards. Oh yeah, this will be funny because I've got my fart loading shirt on. He does the thing. He does the thing it's where he chokes the back, them so over funny. his back. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. That's how the Kuklinski was killing folks. The Ice Man, because he was tall. You got to be tall, or you have to be so strong that you can bend. I and like, make yourself a little, just get their feet off the ground without having them like r- right. flip backwards Leverage. over you. I like the idea of like the State of the Union and Joe Biden is just sneaking up in a cardboard <laughs> box. <laughs> like solid snake. Yeah. He ships himself. <laughs> he ships himself to the State of the Union. <laughs> so there's a box <laughs> off to the side. And everybody's like, all right, Biden's running late, I guess. He might. <laughs> Must have forgot his pill holder. We just have to play along or he won't continue. You know what sucks is I've been shitting on, like, uh, I opened for Janae Burris at the uh, at Looney's last, two weekends ago. And I'm shitting on Biden. I've been having fun shitting on Biden. But I tell people that I voted for him so that they know, like, I'm not shitting on him and, like, building a bomb, you know, so I can blow up a fucking gay kindergarten. But uh, the fucking gay kids only. Why can't my kid get in there just because he's straight? That's fucked up. Uh, but gay I saw so kindergarten. I, it it really got my ass. <laughs> uh, there's finger painting. There's rimming. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Lund, 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 lund. <laughs> This is what happens when I drive. It gets crazy <laughs> when Sam's not here to interrupt me with some bullshit. Dude, did you hear? Did you listen to him inciting people in? Uh, well, where was he at? Slovenia, Slovakia. He like called Ukraine cowards, and people were like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> <laughs> he was like scared for he was gonna get his ass whooped. It was pretty sick. <laughs> yeah, it was fun to hear. Yeah. About. But anyway, shitting on Biden is, has been tough because, like, at Looney's, I was, made fun of Biden a couple times. And then this dude in the front row who's, like, w- I think wearing camo. He wasn't the only one. You know, Springs is, loves their camo. Mm-hmm, but yeah. he was, like, yeah, uh, like, almost to himself, he was, like, fuck Biden. And I was just, like, <laughs> yeah, I'm shitting on him. What do you want? Like, what? <laughs> you weren't shitting on him in the right way. You weren't wearing camo. I wasn't shitting on him and also planning on voting for Trump. I think I might, though. Everybody's talking about how they're not going to vote for Biden, and it's like, yeah, that's a cool half, half-ass measure. What about full-on <laughs> voting for Trump? Yeah, hey, fuck y'all. <laughs> Guess what? I don't think uh, it'd be really any different if Trump was president right now. Well, well it'd be yeah, different. That, yeah, it'd yeah. be more entertaining because mm. he doesn't sleep half the day like Joe Biden. Ukraine might be going differently. <laughs> what? Ukraine might be going differently. It would be, well, so that's the, you know, the minutia is about how, like, yeah, it would, shit got worse for some people because there was an embolden, emboldening of just kind of shitty, hateful people expressing themselves and acting like they won, and so they get to do that, and that's obviously bad. I don't know that it would... um it's not like it went away under Biden, obviously. I'm not saying that Biden cured that, but, man, I don't want to go back to just daily uh, bewilderment and anger and frustration with a president and his choices, <laughs> like, every day. And then knowing, like, every motherfucker in his cabinet, everybody's name as they came and went, you know, and it came out that they, like, tried to kill every wife they've had. You know, just, like, so many scandals and, and they shit. they names just... like you guys made them up, like yeah. Gorp, <laughs> Sludge Man and stuff. <laughs> Bor- yeah, Bork Glugman and fucking... <laughs> Snudge. <laughs> Snod, Burkford. <laughs> Money. Fucking Sky Bird. Tallman, who was a real person in Trinidad. <laughs> Sky Tallman. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Is he Native American? I think he might be some... Yeah, he must be some... uh, Sue or something. He's going to sue me if I get it wrong. 
but my baby, he... she's a Chickawa. <laughs> <laughs> Half Cherokee and Choctaw. Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, <laughs> who sang that? Who sang that? <laughs> Alvin Jackson? I don't remember. I think so. Mm, Andrew Jackson? Andrew Jackson. Uh, <laughs> Andrew Jackson Jihad, I think, uh, sang that little ditty. Rosenstock. <laughs> no, that's, never mind, different band. Is I wanted to... That? No, he, he was, was in Bomb the bomb Music, the music industry. industry. Yeah, I didn't know about him until like a year ago, and I love him. And he was supposed to play in Albuquerque like in November, and I wanted to go, but he had COVID. And uh, I think he canceled. Even if he didn't cancel that show, I, did, I, didn't, I decided not to, yeah. not to go. Uh, how have you been, Patrick? I know we're having fun uh, and getting geopolitical immediately, <laughs> but... <laughs> But uh, no, Sam, and we talk politics. It's a we Patrick get, episode. We get real. You, you have have you been any good shows? Have you gotten slurped? Um, not re- too recently. Um, I've had some uh, encounters, but I had a really. I don't want to talk shit. I had a bad show last night, and talk I headlined shit, to like ten people. Who biffed it? It was you, in you didn't, you didn't promote enough? Are you at Tilt Pinball? Ten people? No, it wasn't there. It was at a brewery. Okay. Uh, um, well, that's fine. Uh, yeah. And they didn't want crowd work. They were, oh. like hated it. It was like too that's... bright in there. They were like, don't pick uh, on us. So I had okay, to do my so... jokes for 30 minutes to <laughs> ten people. But they also didn't like your jokes. No, so they loved them. Lo- lose, lose. They were like, they chanted suck his dick at the end of my <laughs> Slurp his gorb. <laughs> uh, Quick, who, knob. who runs the show? I don't I don't know. Yes, you do. I, I don't want to bring it up. It's a, some it was silent a partner, a some conglomerate. Well, yeah, it doesn't matter if 10 people show up. It's not, not, it doesn't mean that it's always bad. It's certainly not my fault, the headliner, for not drawing. It's certainly not my fault. <laughs> but I don't have yeah, why would it? Why would it be your fault? No Patrick you're, people in Louisville. You're an international sensation. Yeah. I've been to France one time. <laughs> with a we man kissed. named Spud. We kissed under the Eiffel Tower. Oh. Yeah. I was looking at some of the footage of us kissing the other day. <laughs> I am excited for people to see Sam and I making fun of each other for how we... Uh, traversed the Louvre because I think we both kicked each other's asses. It was a fair fight, <laughs> <laughs> and we were both fired up. And uh, what I happened that, with that? I don't even remember what you're talking s- s- about. In 2019, oh. me, Sam, Bobby, and Chris went to the Louvre, and they barely looked at anything. I feel right. they would like power walk through a floor and be like, "Done, gay, 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 gay." gay. <laughs> Gay, gay, super have gay. It, have it, want it, have it, want it, gay, gay, have it. You're cool. <laughs> and so... <laughs> the janitor, you just pointed they, at the janitor, you're cool. <laughs> and I was like, I don't know, trying to appreciate all of it. It was overwhelming, and they wanted to get out of there and I'm sure have a cigarette and a fucking beer. And so, yeah, we we blasted each other for our... We were on opposite opposite ends of the appreciating art spectrum, and that's not what you want when you're in a group. I should have told them to leave, and I could catch up with them. We had phones, um, but instead we like tried to stay together. And so I took pictures of the plaques, you know, the information uh, posted about a lot of the pieces that I liked. And you read in, them in, in the, bed that night. No, no, and and then I thought, oh, I'll look them up, and I'll have you know on my own schedule and guess what i have not done that at all i have them in my google drive they're ready they're waiting for me just google it <clears throat> what's that's what i'm saying I, it, I, it's so that i could look up and see some of that art later and i just haven't maybe when i'm 90 i think it felt like we did the louvre right <laughs> when we went we didn't dick around really outside of it we just yeah. dicked around we saw you remember all those used condoms yeah, everybody's fucking in those giant like bushes. Hedges, yeah. <laughs> hedges bushes. They're edging in the hedges. <laughs> oh, they were doing more than edging. I saw. There was. I saw the edge condoms. fall. <laughs> uh, we had a good show Thursday. Me and Janae at the well. Becker, God, Becker, you would have loved my set. It was very unhinged. 
I was pissed. I don't know I what forgot. you're pulling your pod. I just forgot. I got busy you, doing the bullshit after work. And my friends are paying $170 each to go see Creed. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That's wild. <laughs> they were trying to get me to go. I was like, buy me a ticket. I'll go for free. I ain't paying that much. Yeah, that's nuts. <laughs> uh, speak, I'm that sounds like six those... feet from the edge, and I'm thinking, yeah, maybe six feet ain't so, so far, far down. down. Yeah, that's so shit rips. good. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it, why. It's it's just a great song. Great songwriting. Yeah, but you know, your life is in shambles, Patrick. And if you, the listener, have ugly pubes, your life is also in shambles, and your confidence has taken a hit. So you should cheer up with Manscaped. That's right. They just launched their Performance Package 5.0. It'll clean things up down there where your dick and balls are and make those balls smooth and shiny. That's what you need, Patrick, is some shiny balls. I want them to look like that guy's face. <laughs> You want your balls to look like they were in a horrible fire. And then doctors were able to cobble together a horrific uh, facsimile of a human <laughs> of a human testicle sack. Shave me down. <laughs> My pubes are too long and I'm thinking. Did you try to, did you try to uh, melt your pubes off with fire and it backfired oh. horribly? Then get... The new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra. It has two interchangeable blade heads, so you can decide if you just want to trim or if you're going for that super close shave. Because, <laughs> you know, sometimes your balls should have different looks. Are you going to the theater? Maybe get rid of all of them. Are you trying to go to a nice business meeting where you're going to need some, like, a little bit of a. Uh, pube confidence maybe le let them dangle a little bit <laughs> you said that like one word pube confidence like pube confidence <laughs> it is one word people talk it's... about the left brain right brain i they, we don't talk about how your balls your left ball and your right ball are completely different personalities <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah either way you're gonna enjoy uh taking care of your pubic hair i've been doing it uh, we've had Manscaped be a sponsor for, uh, quite a while now. And, uh, Becker and Sam and I have all enjoyed, uh, their products. They've taken great care of us. You won't, uh, regret getting rid of your freaking gross ass, nasty pube ball hair. Get rid of it. It grows back. Except for Becker's. It doesn't, it grows back weird. It just straight. <laughs> it came back all straight. Okay. Well, uh, that's good, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if that's preferable to have Asian pubes, but <laughs> if it works for you, then uh, let it fly. His pubes uh, look like Cat Williams' hair. <laughs> yeah, you got the re you, they, they got relaxed. <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it ha it has been uh, nice to be able to have like. I had such an old fucking uh, set of clippers that I used, and it was annoying. And it's nice to have uh, the latest in pube shaving technology. Uh, as always, the uh, the package involved comes w equipped with Manscaped's skin safe technology to prevent nicks, snags, and cuts, so you can weed whack without fear. I mean, maybe have a little bit of fear. Don't be just <laughs> so confident that you <laughs> cut your own yeah, dick off. Be, I don't even know if you check could. those angles. Some of those angles. Some well, of you know, it's nice. There's big there's a light too. There's a light on the the razors, which is hilarious. Like, shouldn't you maybe turn the light on and don't rely on one little one headlight, <laughs> wallflower style. But yeah, you can weed whack without fear uh, to a certain extent. You should be scared about other stuff, but you can be pretty confident, yeah, that that skin safe technology is going to keep you safe. And yeah, make your balls sh fucking shiny the way that the ladies love and the gay dudes come back for more. Show uh, your balls to someone whose house just burnt down. <laughs> <laughs> Let your balls light the way home. <laughs> Manscaped. <laughs> Let your balls be the North Star for the three wise men to find baby Jesus out there in the desert. Get 20% off and free shipping with the code CHUBBY at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping. Shut up. With the code CHUBBY at manscaped.com. music. Shave, Shave me down. down. I'm hairy <laughs> as all get out, and I'm thinking, thinking. maybe hairy. 
ain't sexy. sexy yeah. You got to be uh, sexy and get rid of your ball hair so you look like a little kid. <laughs> <sighs> well, yeah, it was it was a fun set for sure. There was um, <laughs> so before the show, there was um, I was talking to one of the owners, Jason. And I, I can't charge her the cover because uh, her house burned down. And me and Jason were both like, okay, yeah, that's fine. Good call. We don't need her 10 bucks. And so then... she's got a bunch of insurance money now. It's a, <laughs> no, actually not, according to somebody told me that they <laughs> didn't have insurance on the house. So maybe not. But so I... I, I, I Yeah. So I, uh, I see... The two of them, or whatever, are are in the crowd, and I start the show, and I come up with a couple things about, you know, there was a, an election on Tuesday, and a, f- a few friends ran for city council and they didn't win, uh, including Sky Tallman, and uh, and and Suzanne, who, uh, you know, Kurt and Suzanne own, uh, are two of the owners of the High Dive in Denver, and they own the Trinidad Lounge. Uh, she ran for city council, didn't wasn't elected, and I, so I was going to make fun of her uh, because she uh, usually works at the bar on Mondays, and I work Tuesdays, and so I was going to. I had a couple stupid lines like, "Oh, you know, I, I voted for Suzanne, but I was a little worried because you know she kept talking about how she was going to clean up the streets. Meanwhile, I'm coming in on Tuesdays thinking, why don't you clean up the bar that you own? Why don't you why don't you get the mop out before you start talking about cleaning up a whole town?" You know, and then some Trinidad ass comedy. (laughs) That's right. And uh, so there was supposed to be like a second one, and then the third one I thought was funny, which was, uh, yeah, you know, Suzanne claimed she was going to put out all put out the fires, you know, when if she was elected. And I thought, why don't you have your daughter stop setting all these fires around town? (laughs) (laughs) And the woman is sitting like right by me and she goes, whoa, dude, uh, my house burned down. So that too soon, you know, and I just was horrified. You know, I had not thought of the two things (laughs) together. I had, I knew I wanted to do these couple of things, make a fun of Suzanne or whatever. And then I overheard that, you know, this person's house had burned down, but I didn't fucking think about it. And so I feel bad or whatever. And, you know, but they're okay. And I say, I'm sorry, whatever. And I'm glad that they're there. It was a man and a woman. Well, so the guy, the guy is acting, he's being annoying. He's playing with a lighter. (laughs) Yeah. He's fucking, (laughs) he smells of gasoline and he's smoking inside. No, he fucking, like, is just a bad, like, he keeps getting up, you know, uh, at the well, you pour your own drinks. They have they have some bottles and cans, but but they also have taps where you pour your own drinks. Oh, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, you bombed there. So he, I haven't performed there, I don't think. Oh, you got kicked out of there for creeping on the staff. Uh, you, <laughs> I put my you, mouth on the tap. You ta- yeah, you wheeze the juice. Uh, so, so the, the dude is being annoying. He's getting up like more than you would think a person would to go get a, a to go pour a drink. He's talking. He's chatting a little bit to you know to the woman he's with and like kind of to me, but I can't really hear him. So he's you know it, it's frustrating. But I'm trying to be nice because they. I think that the, that both of them that they're the couple that lost their house, and um, eventually, pretty quick, they uh, moved so that they were a little closer to the taps, and so they weren't constantly like crossing in front of the stage. And one of the times, the dude fucking walked behind me as if that was better. And it's like, no, <laughs> dude. He was like tip, like acting like he was sneaking by. And it's like, <laughs> just walk and and uh, we can see you, you know. And it's going slow as possible. And well, and then I feel bad because when he walks by and he's in the light, his face looks like it's been burned. So oh, then no. I, re- yeah. So then I really feel weird because I think, oh my god, he was in the fire. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, so I have to like you know cut him some slack or whatever, and you call him Harvey Dent. <laughs> hope that he has. <laughs> I hope that he has like a nice night out where he can forget about shit. Uh, and so yeah, I'm like, oh my god, like his face looks like like kind of shiny plastic, like maybe he had yeah. skin grafts or something. So I'm like, oh my god, and uh, and and so then you know it was just me and Janae. Uh, 
I asked Jay if he wanted to do a set, but it was like two days before, and he was like, no, I think I'm good or whatever. And I didn't ask Paisher because I thought Paisher was doing a show next month with uh, Steve Gillespie, and that is not happening. But uh, So it was just me and Janae. So I, I do like 22, and I bring up Janae, and then the dude is kind of talking, but he's further away from the stage or whatever, so I just leave him be. Then he and the woman go over to the giant Jenga, and I was like, <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> So I go, <laughs> I go over there, you know, pretty quick, and I'm like, "Hey, y- you can't play giant Jenga because it's gonna fall and be loud." <laughs> so please uh, wait, you know. Janae had been up there for a little while, so I told him I was like, "The, the show's not gonna be that much longer, so you could play Jenga later." <laughs> I'm talking to a child. Uh, if you don't play now, you could play later. They're just but, trying to uh, build a new house. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, well, yeah. So, um, that's coming. I, uh, they, they stop, you know, dicking with the giant Jenga, but the dude, like, grabs the cards against humanity and starts looking at them. And it's like, why don't you just listen to the fucking show that you're at, you know? <laughs> just acting like that is not for him. And so everything else is, like, something yeah. that he should, you know, try to entertain himself with. So <laughs> after after the Janae is done, I go up there. I thank everybody. I uh, tell them about, you know, there's a show next month at the Dad Lounge with some guys uh, coming through. Jeff Tate, Dave Stone, uh, Gilbert Lond, and... Uh, Gilbert Arenas. Gilbert Arenas <laughs> is coming. He's got the his gun. whole Malice in the Palace crew is going to be there. Ron Artet, Meta World Peace, yeah, is going to yeah. be there. Uh, <laughs> who's the other guy? Steven, on, Ryan Singer is on that is on that lineup, and Jeff Dunham, and uh, <laughs> they, the couple or the the man and the woman are like you know on their way out, and I was like, and again, you know, sorry, and I think he uh, tried to apologize, you know, sorry about the giant Jenga, and I was like, oh no, it's fine. I mean, it was weird that you tried to play giant Jenga, and also I saw that like some of the pieces were on fire, so that was weird, <laughs> <laughs> and I. <laughs> I felt bad until uh, Janae's partner, you know, David, is like, he couldn't believe, he was laughing so hard. He was like, oh my God, the fire stuff. He was very <laughs> complimentary about my <laughs> my uh, dealing with them. And yeah, at the end, I, f- I almost felt bad about that last line. And then I they leave. I'm talking to like some of the people that are still in the well and one of them says yeah i don't know who that dude is and i was like what do you mean i thought their house burned down and they're like no she's with a different dude and i was like what the fuck it was this whole other layer to the saga so is that this dude was not in that fire was probably (laughs) in a different fire that he put out with his face (laughs) and yeah well and then i came i don't fucking know an hour late so I missed him being a problem for the whole thing and then caught the end of Janae's set and saw Nathan go up and make the fire jokes. And I live across from the fire station and saw all the fire trucks taken off like right around when I was getting off of work. So when Peicher yeah. came over to say hi, I was like, whoa, did, did something like burn down in town today? And they were paying at the bar and the chick like whipped around at me and she was like, my house. And apparently it's very funny. Oh, shit. <laughs> and I was like, oh, okay. And then, like, got out of the chair and wandered over towards the taps just to get the fuck away from that situation. It yeah, that's brutal. Whoops. Yeah. Yeah, that sucks. They were they were at the... So that was Thursday night. Uh, Friday night, um, there was a, a concert at the, at the Dad Lounge, and I was there, and I saw them, and I didn't talk to them. The dude, again, is just... I mean, he, he should be studied. Because he kept, he kept, he just was like the constantly, man. yes, he was constantly doing like, so it was a uh, rattlesnake milk was the main band and they're like spooky Gothic country. Uh, so fucking good. They have an album from last year that rules. And, uh, he is so a country music, you know, and the opening bands are kind of lively, a little more honky tonk, whatever. And the dude is just always like doing the little bounce, like the little like arms the minion out, walk. like Yosemite <laughs> Sam, <laughs> yeah, and just like just a funny. And it's like, dude, what? Just the life of the party. And somebody I think at the bar knew that he had like come down to hang out, support, help, 
the couple. So that's nice of him. But yeah, just a, a, a just everywhere he went, just like interacting with everybody, doing little dances and stuff. It's like, man, he really loves his second lease on life after <laughs> after melted. he drove off of a dam. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I hate him. I hate this guy. I don't know if I like him or hate him, but man, uh, sounds like I was a cryptid gl- kind of he was like Slender <laughs> Man or something. Yeah, he was up in the rafters of the bar, like <laughs> eating spiders. La but, <laughs> Yeah, it was a fun night. Um, we didn't have a ton of people, but I was glad. Uh, Janae had to reschedule once, and then I had to reschedule, and so it was nice to finally have it happen. And uh, was How was her baby set? It was good. She she did a bunch of stuff. And, oh, the baby did not perform. Well, I thought the baby was opening. <laughs> no, it was me and Janae. I didn't want to cut in anybody else to our meager profits. <laughs> I made what are you drinking? No what are money. you sipping on? What's that can? Uh, I finished my coffee and I just finished my soda water. I have uh, a Coke. nice Coke Zero here. Yeah, you're so calorie conscious with your sodas that's just sugar i'd rather get aspartame cancer or whatever uh yeah my mom got ms and drank a lot of diet coke and i i don't know if that there was a real connection that got uh you know swept under the rug or if it was uh uh, not really a thing just kind of like a rumor that was around in the early days of the internet you know that kind of came and went but I thought maybe I th- I remember thinking, oh, if she sues Diet Coke and gets a bunch of money, I could get a new baseball glove. We could have Street Fighter Two <laughs> in the in the basement. Dream but, cast, dream cast, dream cast. I could have a goddamn. <laughs> I could have a god. Well, no, that wasn't Dreamcast. I was in college, dog. <laughs> we are uh, different ages. <laughs> I was well, excited you, for you would if game. you sued Coke. If you sued Diet Coke, you would have enough money to go into the future and get a Dreamcast. To get a Dreamcast in 93. <laughs> Memory card with a little screen on it. Yeah. Crazy. Oh, yeah. Mm. Uh, so, I yeah. Wish I the... had a Dreamcast right now. <laughs> I wish I had a PS5. I want to play that Spider Man. I played the shit out of the first one. Just swinging. Just swinging around New York, helping people. Getting new skins, getting those new fucking outfits, like a <laughs> dude. Treat yourself like a to fashionista. a PS5. Let's become gamers. Yeah, I got a PS4 when Megan and I got married. I was looking for a ring. I went to the pawn store that was across the street <laughs> from uh, El Chirito. You bought a PS4, and there was a PS4, and I was like, "Oh fuck yeah, I'll get a ring somewhere else." <laughs> but I got that PS4, and now, so that was four and a half years ago it was old when i got it you know yeah. it had been out but i that was my upgrade and so now can you get ps5s or are they still hard to find no they're around them. now yeah okay i got mine are they like free. 500 dollars? yes yeah. fuck I, I, kill me. I grifted for mine oh yeah what happened you bought I, one <clears> and I then you one. said it was and then Stolen. my credit card, I went to a FedEx Kinko's and my card got skimmed. Someone had like a skimmer there. I'm guessing that's where it happened, but because then I got like five charges for like $50. And so I disputed it on my, with my, because it was my Venmo card. And then the, the, <laughs> the charge right before those was the PS5 and it was just from bestbuy.com because i ordered it online so i just picked that one as fraudulent too and they reimbursed <laughs> me for it <laughs> whoa nice dude yeah <laughs> i was like and uh this won't work but it did yeah and i and i i reported you to venmo so i'm surprised they haven't charged you that would suck <laughs> <laughs> i'd have to sell it to you to pay for it i'll i'll buy it off you for 300 all right. <laughs> Just take a bath for 200. I'm going to keep so- it till my PlayStation Plus subscription runs out though. Mm, okay. Got another yeah. month on that. Did you have a you have a good uh ratio Were some of those clips of Kobo stealing the coats from this uh past show? Yeah. Or is that, that Yeah, was that was funny. the last one. It was that really was fun. packed. 
It was fun. Now that it gets, once it gets colder, these fucking Denver, you know, these Colorado folks have to come in until, you know, they, until the weekend when they go to the mountains and, uh, you know, try not to Sonny Bono themselves. <laughs> they can Straight be inside and, yeah, they can be inside and fucking, I almost got taken out when I was sledding in college because there was like a tree branch, a big one. That was like horizontal, you know, it was like it had bent really weird. So it was like horizontal for a bunch of it. And it uh and I was spinning uh, in this in the uh You were sled, spinning out inner the tube. Uh, yeah, I was spinning around, whatever in the tube. And uh when I started facing forward, it was like right before this fucking tree. And so luckily I, I ducked. Jesus. I, I didn't get domed. I wasn't going fast enough to be killed, I don't think. Could've but it would have it would have straight sucked dude a chick i grew up with died that way on our sledding hill in town whoa in the springs. was she yeah. one of the 20 neighbor children no she got was, hereditary it, it was in the broadmoor she was like a well-to-do kid and like a like them and their best friend were just sledding on the hill we all sledded on it was the old ski slope on cheyenne mountain from the when broadmoor had a ski lift and she fucking biffed it into a tree and was done. Died. Knock yeah. your block off. She got a block knocked off. And her best friend was fucking weird till today. Very weird. After, like, watching that happen. Got affected. Oh, yeah. Really How about so. this? Fucking Post Megan. Post-traumatic sledding dis- dis- disaster. Megan has a cousin, similar age, whatever, named Courtney. She li- used to listen, probably got sick of us and stopped listening, but... Call if me not, Courtney. She used to. <laughs> she's married. <laughs> she, uh, she and her, uh, uh, I think a mutual friend of Megan and Courtney, uh, wanted to kill herself. Went to blow her head off and like just took a chunk, like survived. <laughs> oh, like no. shit. biffed, biffed the bullet. Imagine and how much more so you just, want to kill yourself after that yeah, happened. Yeah, she was probably like you know, a little uh, pudgy chubby or something. And it's a little body dysmorph. And then blasts her face. Looks like Ebert post-mandible removal. <laughs> oh. Plus, like, missing an eye or something. She's got an eye dangling. And then she has to go back to school. And it's like, hey, look who... <laughs> I don't know. That's classic. Like, I couldn't even kill myself. You know, that's hack. But <laughs> <laughs> she, she, she did the opposite of glowing up. She became she was, uglier. She, blowing up yeah she went Holy uh shit. reverse uh fuck i can't think of rachel something for, was the first uh movie where it was she took rachel her glasses Holmes off and was hot oh, yeah uh, no what was her name i don't know i know what you're was, talking about what was the movie freddie prince was there but I can't. yeah she's all that she's all that yes yeah. rachel maybe my was her second name? favorite movie Behind Jennifer crazy stupid love, you love crazy rich Asians. <laughs> That's your uh, not the movie, movie, but I do love crazy rich Asians. <laughs> 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 you ever hung out with <laughs> Kim Jong Un? He's a great yeah, guy. Yeah, crazy, crazy rich Asian for sure. Uh, Becker, what's going on in your world? Uh, not much. I went to an Italian deli yesterday and ate way too much meat. It Nani Nanos or what? Oh, you were in Pueblo. Yeah, Gaglianos. You went to Pueblo. Gaglianos? Yeah, it fucking rips. <laughs> he gagged all right. He gagged on some hey, capicol. Dude, the Chubs want to know the breakdown of what you ate for sure. I As had a listener, soposata and manchego mm. and some capicola, and then I had an Italian sub. And I got a, <laughs> well, how many inches are we talking? It was like it was like a good thirteen incher. It was. Did it have it jardinera solid. on it? No, they, they had this hot pepper spread, the Sicilian oh, hot pepper yeah. spread. I bought a bottle of it. It was so fucking good. That's my shit, dude. Yeah, man, it was amazing. I don't know how often I'm gonna go to Pueblo and not eat there from like here on out. What's Damn. it called? Gagliano's. Gagliano's. Gagliano. Yeah. Oh, my, yeah. Mike Capafiliano. <laughs> <laughs> and it's at the south end of town, so it's like easy to like hit on the way out when you're running errands and shit up there. 
Yeah, I'll have to remember. That sounds then, good. Yeah, dude. You'll Manchig. Love it. They have bug. Uh, Pueblo green chili, Italian sausages, and yeah, then grinder patties. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, then I, I also saw the Marvels. Oh, okay. I thought that was a... That's not a show. Uh, I can't fucking keep up. There's a lot I gotta, of them. I gotta catch up on Broadcast Geeks so that I know <laughs> which ones to skip. <laughs> uh, well, Mitch just hates them all now. He's just, like, burnt out. Yeah. He was mostly, we discovered he mostly had a crush on Robert Downey Jr., and that's, like, why he was in. Uh, he just liked Iron Man. Yeah, now that Iron Man's gone, he can't do it with uh, Peter Spitterman or any of the other men. <laughs> Maybe he's coming back, though? Yeah, he's definitely coming back. None of his ventures have gone well. Okay. Uh, shit. I just thought of, I was going to say something. Oh, we, uh, Megan's brother justin and uh our sister-in-law melanie came down the last couple days and we ate at bella luna yesterday and it blew all of our dicks off so hard that we went back today and had just two more both times we had a small pizza and a a large the large isn't very big so neither was impressive as far as like amount of pizza eaten yeah but oh my god that's fucking good dude I was being a sexy pizza soldier for the most part. And me and Bella Luna, I mean, and sexy pizza is normally solid. It's good. It's but fine. Man, it's just too dick expensive. I Bella get that Luna, they pay their dude. employees well, but God. I don't want, yeah, I don't want them to pay their employees. I, I want, want cheap the pizza, pizza to be. <laughs> no, Bella Luna, uh, yeah, fucking so good both times. It's it makes crazy. me feel bad for not what getting it. What kind of more. pie are we talking here? Wood dude. fired? Are we talking a wood fired pie? Wood, yeah, big old. Big old oven, fucking wood. That guy's have a sixth sense for this sort of so thing. So much, so much, so much <laughs> cheese. Like almost too much cheese, but like the sweet spot, you know, like <sighs> more than you would think would and be good or whatever. Stretchy cartoon cheese. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it's so fucking good. Outside of ratio, the blue pan food truck is there every Wednesday. It's so mm-hmm. hard not to get that every fucking Wednesday. Yeah. yeah, so good. Megan and I, Megan and I got blue pan that Detroit style. Yep. We'd get that like every ten days, you know. It's, it's just huge, fucking yeah. This huge dollops of ricotta on there. So yeah, the whipped good. ricotta man is nuts. Just gets in my mustache. We have uh, sometimes people in the show just <clears throat> leave their boxes on the ground, and we eat the rat pizza after everyone leaves. It's awesome. Uh, you and you and Kobos, right? Healy has a two Kobos children. Kobos is so vegan. So it's Healy. So it's me. It's you and Healy. (laughs) The big boys. Rat pizza. (laughs) Blue pan pizza. Uh, We have. Lechugas. Where is it? Oh, it's in Denver. Are there a couple of them? Is it East Colfax? No. No. I don't think I've. I don't think I've eaten at it. I don't know. It's good. They have these like little cannolis. It's like a Mm. sausage cannoli. It's so good. It's got like green chilies in it. Oh, Damn. yeah. That sounds I have good. had that. They're little. You eat like a hundred of them. <laughs> Somebody brought it into uh, Denver Relief way back in the day. So good. That sounds fucking good. You know where you got to go uh, on East Colfax is Carm and Gia's. Have you been there? Mm-mm. I thought you were going to say Carmichael's. Carm- uh, I don't Kobos know. Kobos used that. to work at an Italian deli somewhere. Dude, I don't know. Carm and Gia's is like. I don't know, Colfax and something, uh, east east side of town, because I went with uh, Lannon and Katie, and they live out in you know Central Park, former Stapleton, KKK area I still call it <laughs> of Stapleton. Denver. I think it's disrespectful yeah, cause you're, to that man. You're a separatist and a supremacist. I'm a And a Sagittarius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a eugenicist. Um a beat scientist you, you're always in the beat lab <laughs> <laughs> trying yeah. to figure out new ways to beat women <laughs> and uh yeah kenny no, beats oh, it's funny to think of the, kenny beats beating women <laughs> sorry go ahead beats by dre he beat up that fucking woman that worked for mtv uh <laughs> beats by ray, beats by ray rice 
Ah, oh, his own child. No, no, he knocked out his girl in the elevator, huh? Hit a bitch oh, in the God. elevator like Ray Rice. That was so bad. That was fucked. He was a beast. He was such a brick shit house, and then he just... Oh, anyway. They were doing so CTE the, to all the Ravens back then. They were making them, yeah. they were making them breathe on, in lead and murdering people. <laughs> on the field, off the field. You were getting fucked with. No, go to Carmen Gia's Denver because fucking the bread. I had a, a sausage, Italian sausage and Italian beef combo sandwich, and the roll was the fucking best. Just perfect. Perfect bread. I don't know if it's the, I think the, the popular one is like Amoroso or something like that. Amoro is, is like a, a popular Chicago, maybe even Philly roll yeah. company. I don't know if it was that, but my God, it was incredible. And, and and everything else was great too, but that bread was the glue. It was fucking sick. How yeah, come like bread. more sandwiches don't come on torta bread? Because that bread is so good. Racism. It's fucked. <laughs> yeah, no torta bread. Yeah, uh, Noah and I uh, last Saturday when I flew back from Pittsburgh went to La Abeja because he hadn't gone yet. I told him Sam and I told him to go so long ago, and he never went. So. We went over there. I tried to get him to pivot to Pete's kitchen because I wanted, <clears throat> I wanted uh, breakfast, but oh, yeah. he was like, "No, he can't. <laughs> he can't fucking deal with me suggesting we go to a different place." After it, La Beja was locked in, I was like, "Well, you know, hash browns and pancakes sound really good. We had a really good time at Pete's kitchen a few months back. A guy marvelled at our eating ability, like thought that we were." <laughs> He was like, oh, I, I remember when I could eat like that. Not anymore, though. Meanwhile, I'm obviously, I can't eat like this. You know, I <laughs> should not be. So he's really just complimenting Noah while, like, <laughs> being worried about me. He calls the cops. You know, they're out they're waiting for me. Like, how much you had to eat today, sir? <laughs> you take None a bite bus- out of the Euro log, sir? <laughs> None of your business, pig. Uh... <laughs> When Pete died, I went into Pete's kitchen like pretty soon after he died, and I was like, "Oh, you guys didn't even put the meat log at half mass," and they didn't even laugh. They didn't think that was very funny. <laughs> the Euro log. Uh, <laughs> Dude, the it. breakfast burrito with the Euro meat—that's the move right there. That's a king move, man. I love that. Well, yeah. So, yeah, I I put it out there, and Noah acted like I called his mom a whore. He was like, no, no uh, yeah, no, we have to go to La Beja. That's what we planned on. That's what we were planning. You know, that's what I was thinking we were going to do. But anyway, La Beja. I planned my footsteps. Brings it, they bring it with the the their bread for the tour. That's on Colfax, right? Yeah, it's right by that McDonald's on uh, Penn. Yeah. And then oh, there? we were we all went there. Weren't you there? Were you there? Yeah, yeah, we went. Yeah, Sophie and Mel. Yeah, Emily, that was good. Yeah, you. Won. It was just as good as fucking Taco fucking Day. The smoke, the smothered burrito I had was just as good, if not better. Yeah, I guess both. Better. Yeah, green chili comparable, spicy, great. It's smothered. <laughs> it's smothered. Yeah, both. Yeah, but yeah, for whatever reason, La Beja hasn't had the fucking st- seal of approval from New Denver folk. They close early. Corey. Shit. Corey didn't tell everybody that it was the best <laughs> six months after moving from Nebraska. So the word didn't get out. That was so annoying. He was barely in town. He's like just making these sweeping generalizations about Denver food and, and bars and shit. It's like, shut up. It's annoying when North people say Platt, they Nebraska. hate green chili. It's like, shut up. Leave us alone. Yeah. It's this. so good. Mm, well, some people say, you know, kind of correctly that Denver doesn't do it as well as New Mexico. And, that, and that's not even true on the whole for Denver. It's just some places in Denver fuck up green chili and act like they're uh, on the same team as yeah. the OG, like the the platonic ideal form right. of fucking green chili. And it, yeah. that part sucks. And it's not Someone gets it at like illegal fair. beats and is like, green chili sucks. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they don't get the real the real shit but yeah and it's weird when denver claims it so hard when it's like really from new mexico and we just it just like came north or whatever 
yeah. in, in satchels. <laughs> just <laughs> white people with handfuls of green chilies sl- slamming it down on the plate. I'm like, Check this out. <laughs> Bull and Bush has mashed potatoes with just green chili on top. Mm. Fuck, yeah. So it's good. good to do green chili and gravy uh, in my book. Mm-hmm. It's nice to have both on there, on the taters. Yeah. So get a smothered burrito, a smothered breakfast burrito, and then biscuits and gravy on the side, huh? <laughs> That's it's a crazy fun. move. <laughs> now we're talking. Uh, shit, man, this time has flown by. When I don't have to listen to Sam be a fucking dickhead <laughs> piece of shit, uh, time is crazy. Time's a weird mistress. Yeah, that, <laughs> neg- <laughs> that negative piece of shit. Always whining. Yeah. Always having shit Wi-Fi. Maybe that's we haven't had to wait eight times for his say that. Yeah. hostile Eastern European <laughs> war-torn <laughs> Wi-Fi to catch Zelensky up. Zelensky esque Wi-Fi. <laughs> Dude, it would have been crazy if he would have uh, gone viral for like a giant half Ukrainian, half Slovenian, <laughs> just picking him up by the armpits and shaking him. <laughs> so he he was brave enough to have Russia's back. He was like being on Russia's he, he side. Picked Russia. <laughs> Yeah. In, in like a in like the Eastern Bloc, he fucking shits on Ukraine and calls them. Oh, you know, like ah, uh, fuck! I forgot to. <laughs> I think I fell asleep before I took a screenshot. Uh, but I have uh, been putting Seinfeld on lately. Guess what? It still rules. And uh, the Risk episode came on when Kramer and Newman are playing Risk, and you know, at the end, they're on the subway and. and Newman says something about Ukraine, and <laughs> Kramer's like, the Ukraine, it's weak and feeble. And then the guy, <laughs> what did you say about Ukraine? Oh, I was yeah. like, dude, that was Sam. It was the fucking <laughs> Sam, dude. Sam's Kramer. Sam is Michael Richards in a lot of ways. <laughs> similar, <laughs> similar comedy styles. <laughs> he does do Kramer a lot. He will randomly do Kramer a lot. He does. He did it. In, I told him he did it at one of the shows in Tampa at Side Splitters. He... He did something like, oh, oh, I think he was talking about yeah. Emily's tits or something. He was like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was good all the time. I was like, what was that? <laughs> oh, you know what got me? I just watched the, the one where George has the uh, toupee. Yum. And when w- he buzzes uh, Jerry's place and Jerry's like, yeah. And he goes, get it on with your bad self. <laughs> <laughs> Why the fuck did he say that? And it's because he has the wig, the toupee, so he's like hip he's and swag. cool. Yeah. <laughs> One of the yeah, best characters of all time. That's what podcasts should be, is reminiscing about funny about sitcom Costanza. episodes. <laughs> Just when he re- sleeps under his desk. At least it's not every episode. That's such a weak... I mean, I understand the appeal, and I've certainly... Uh, enjoyed some not i guess i've never really listened to podcasts uh like i listen to always sunny but that's the actual people going over the episodes but yeah such a fucking niche thing where it's like oh you know this thing you love i'm gonna do a podcast about it so that i get some of that attention i didn't have anything to do with the actual product i'm just going to like uh, pam and angela from the office having an office podcast no, no, I'm saying that's different, right? I I'm think really that thinking sucks. of. I don't want to hear them uh, talk about the office all the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I don't know <laughs> if he should be in frame. He looks kind of weird. He kind of has like a plastic burned face. <laughs> it's me, <laughs> the man who comes to, to to take care of those who have been in fires. <laughs> Let me hold your hand through this troubling time. <laughs> You're the smoke monster. Uh, uh, I'm nice. Oh, God. This has been a a burp-heavy episode again, and I apologize. But, you know, if I held it in, I would just be grumpy. (laughs) My nose would bleed. (laughs) You you gotta let them out. You do Uh, have to let them out. Um, uh. (laughs) I I try to get some distance, you know, but between the the mouth and the mic but anyway uh are you guys gonna put that video up yeah i'm gonna put it up nice Probably jake had to go to pueblo or tomorrow i was I just my wondering birthday the next day i met up with my family i've been all over the place when was your birthday wednesday the 8th oh shit happy birthday happy birthday Thanks. how old are you 34 35 
35. One's buying you a new washer machine. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah. Uh, I, that was before we started recording. My, my dryer's about to implode. Oh, it's still been going, though. I, I remember... I remember how crazy it sounded when I did a load or two, two years ago or whatever. When I yeah, was I told Becker that he probably shouldn't want to run it at night because the it gets cold and the belts get brittle. The rubber belt gets brittle. I told him he probably shouldn't run that thing at night. Yeah, Pat mm-hmm. had some great mechanical ideas. <laughs> <laughs> no, that he sound. told me that he was like, I can't run it at night, and I was like, Why the fuck can't you run it at night? I had no idea. <laughs> Well, one, it's that, and two, it's so loud that I feel like my, one of my neighbors might try to kill me in my sleep. Mm-hmm. Even yeah. though he's like half deaf, probably he's old, isn't he? Yeah, but his like daughters live there, and they have kids. Oh, okay, yeah, it is crazy the the sounds that came out of the. It's the dryer, you said, right? Not the yeah, it's the dryer. Washer, it's, yeah, the dryer. Oh my god, it was nuts. It's like a dying witch. Yeah, yeah, it's fucking yeah. No, it really it's shrill and fuck. Uh, it haunts me. Is Paish the king of Trinidad? How's Paish doing? No, I am. I actually proclaim myself the king of Trinidad king Trin. <laughs> at the beginning of the show on Thursday. I think I said Trinidad comedy, which Not is Not until tr- you make I mean, a belt what, for Jay it. can suck my dick. Paish can eat my ass at the same time. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I just grossed myself out. Uh but yeah, you I know what's funny. That might be pretty I, tight if it was different people. I could get behind that. I thought about it. Oh yeah, it'd be crazy if it was almost anybody except for Jay and Jeremy down there. <laughs> Literally, if it was I'd be any, stoked. any other two fellows, I would love it. Yeah. No, you know what I thought about the other the other day. I think when when I was texting with Jay about performing, I was like, I hope he doesn't hate me for like being the other guy that to come down here and do stand up. I'm sure he doesn't care, but. No and also, you know, he kind of disappeared. That's not my fault. I filled the void. I took uh, Trinidad and their need for laughs and put them on my back. Carried them to the mountaintop. I'm the man. Everybody else sucks. I'm not a slug, as one person likes to say on Reddit. I haven't seen the. I haven't. I haven't looked at that thread in in a week. So I don't know if uh, people have piled on in agreement and anointed that guy as their king, or if I was defended. If my if my uh, Lund guys Almost were able did a, to win the the war. The Lund guys are out there. They're strong. They're I don't know resilient. if they're on Reddit defending my honor and Some telling that guy are. to kill himself. <laughs> I almost they're, did a whole like joke <laughs> repost of that entire post on Reddit, but just make it like really positive for you. Like yeah. Just copy it and then change it so it's really positive. I was like, this is too much work. Oh, yeah, it changed slug to thug. <laughs> it's insane. He's a, he's a gangster. All, all of these people have little fucking baby brains, and they listen to people talk in their ears, and they think they fucking know everything about them, and they think you're, they're your fucking friend. They're stupid. Most of, <laughs> most of y'all are normal, but there's a lot of you that need real friends. Fucking idiots. Jesus Christ. Sam is not your friend. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for sure. Well, the other thing that was funny, I can't I don't know if I talked about it on an episode yet, but there was a, a person on Instagram who I think I shared uh soups on, you know, in the middle of all of this shit in Israel and Gaza. I was like, <laughs> "Don't forget about soups on, everybody." Like <sighs> it feels so weird, but it's like when when is there going to be a time where it's appropriate to plug your now shit? Now you know, you know how I Ukraine mean? feels. <laughs> Um, I, I plugged it, you know, and, and somebody commented, I'm torn between wishing for you to succeed and seeing the train wreck that would occur if, if you, if you didn't, if it wasn't successful, something, (laughs) it was so weird where it's like, oh, you think that like, if I don't get more views on my special on YouTube, I'm going to what, like melt down kill yeah. myself like and you want that maybe you don't know <laughs> if you want me to be miserable and it's like a the, joker well yeah and it's just funny because it's like i don't know i'm sure some people <clears throat> uh, most a lot people of, are great and normal but yeah, some yeah, of yeah. these weirdos but that was a funny one because it's like yeah how much do you know about me where you think i give a shit like i'm i'm happy with the special with the jokes that are on the thing. That's all I care about. And I want people to see it, but I'm not going to fucking give a fuck. I don't know. Some of my, op- a lot of my set, 
uh, has been pretending to like be freaking out about not getting enough views and it's fun. But then, yeah, I think some people probably wonder or they, they think that they're a genius when they say, you know, a lot of what comics say, it's, it's rooted in the truth. And so they think that they're like owning no your shit. ass. Oh, do people right. think, oh yeah, you want less views on it? Of course you want more views <laughs> on it, but like, yeah. it's not like you had any like fucking marketing behind you or anything. No, and I on to the next one. I didn't do up, up any. I didn't do any podcasts to promote or or. <laughs> no, I didn't help myself at all. I posted about it like six times, but I didn't want to annoy myself. I didn't want to be God. I see some of these people the way that they promote. It's like oh, I would rather blow my face off and survive. Yeah, I'd rather survive a fucking shotgun to the d face. Because it's so, again, like, you know, it feels weird to promote anything when shit, you know, when real shit is going on uh, and people are dying. But some of these fucks are doing that constantly. They don't, like, take breaks. And maybe it serves them well. But I think sometimes it doesn't even result in anything. So then you're doing it all for, like, not practically nothing. Yeah, the Still algorithm all that is, time de in. it's demonic. Mm -hmm. It's a demonic yeah. force. <laughs> it so, sucks. Yeah. Uh, Patrick, do you got any shows coming up that you'd like to maybe try to get people at as opposed to your Louisville <laughs> debacle? Um, no. Um, I have a wonderful <laughs> podcast called the Cobos Patrick Podcast. It is way funnier than this podcast. It's not very good. It's the best podcast. We average Who's... about 100 listens an episode. Come help us out, Chubby. That's Chasers. better than Broadcast Queefs. Oh, I know. It's a way better podcast. Than oh yeah, way better. <laughs> I mean, somebody I just wanted don't like to Marvel find it though. Stuff. Somebody wanted to find it, so we we shouted Ooh. it out on Reddit. I don't know if you saw that, Becker. Somebody was uh -oh. like, "What's what's the Becker's other podcast?" And I was like, "He he doesn't." What do you mean other one? They meant this was right, yours, yeah. which that I didn't makes get. Sense. Because Mitch said he's getting comments that our audio sucks, so I'm sure it's. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that sounds like your guys' fans. <laughs> <laughs> uh who if Kobos and Patrick, who's Sam and who's Lund? I think I'm Lund for sure. And nice. Kobos is Sam. It's definitely different. I'm yeah, definitely you, you guys are both Lunds, because neither of you are sociopath dominators. We're both betas, kind of. It's not beta to care about people. It's not beta to read the news now and then. Sam doesn't know anything about what's going on over there. That's why he said the Ukraine thing. He thought he was quoting Seinfeld <laughs> from 95, <laughs> and he thought that was like the last time anybody knew anything about you. He still calls it the Ukraine. He's fucking, <laughs> he's so behind. And he's like, why would anybody care? He only like, he gets Google alerts for his name, and that's how he knows what's going on in the world. <laughs> When his name is in an article, he's like, oh, yeah, there's a lot of people talking about old Sam T. <laughs> it's like, no, that's just some fucking, just a local paper promoting your upcoming shows. He loves traveling, but he doesn't know the, the climates. No. I, speaking of traveling, he I'm called Monday. it Ukrainese. He thinks they speak Ukrainese. <laughs> uh, I get to go see Sam. Monday. Well, yeah, you're going to the big dub. You're going to my I'll homeland. See him Tuesday. I'll see him Tuesday. I got to fly Monday. Dublin. Uh, three shows. Two are sold out. Um, so if you go on samtalent.com, you can uh, get tickets for the uh, unsold out show, which uh, I think it'll probably sell out soon. So get those tickets. Uh, London. There's one show at uh, Lester, Lester Hall. Again, samtalent.com. Comedy works in Denver. Um, six shows. Thanksgiving weekend. That Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. I'll be at all of those. Patrick will be at some of those. Do you know which ones you're doing? No, I asked to be on them, and he just he's like, I'll put you on some shows. He's like, no. Yeah, that's very helpful. I'll make you keep say. your calendar you open until <laughs> I decide. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, no, that'll be mm -hmm. fun. Um, will yeah, you do so me a little favor while you're out in the U.K.? What? Bring me home a big titty redhead Irish lady <laughs> to marry. Just a big titty Irish goth girl. Oh god, that would be crazy. Uh, no promises, but I will try to smuggle 
I'll, 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 I'll send me your favorite picture of you, and I will show <laughs> your face to the women of our, of Dublin. Perfect. I just paid forty dollars for some AI that puts me on like a skinny businessman's body, and there's a Maybach in the background. I'm just gonna show. Actually, I'll just show them because I think this is probably my favorite picture of you. It'll. Oh, it makes no. you look strong. Makes you look strong <laughs> and lovable. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, there's a lot of rocks over there in Dublin that what might is it be about him that looks like me. The nose, <laughs> big face, small eyes. I don't know. <laughs> I do have small eyes. <laughs> you look like this motherfucker. I think he's cute though. He's kind of. He cute. is. I kiss your. I kiss your <laughs> mouth because you're a cute guy who looks like this, and that's fine. You're. You're Remember five, when five stories tall in the urinal tripod <laughs> by the yes. river by the sun. Yes. Yeah, it was great. We kissed by the sand. That's so romantic. It was very romantic. People were jealous of our love, including Sam. All of a sudden, Sam's like, oh, we should kiss, too. And I was like, no, that's not <laughs> our thing. Like, we don't do that. And he's like, no, we should. He's a fucking kiss colonizer. If somebody kisses somebody else. He's like, me, too. What about me kissing you? It's like, no. <laughs> let's just start let's kissing these. Let's kiss over here. Kiss. Yeah, we should kiss, kiss at Comedy Steve. Works Thanksgiving weekend, but not Sam. He'll be jealous. I'll try not to be um, too wet-lipped. Thank you. Also, uh, what? Comedy on State, the first weekend in December uh, in Madison, Wisconsin, and then first weekend in January, uh, Sam and I will be at Zany's in Chicago with Noah. Noah is hosting the shows. So get tickets anyway. You know, he'll do like seven minutes. He'll struggle. And then, you know. He I'll... bombed at ratio recently. <laughs> nice. Uh, I will pick up the pieces and set up Sam. Stockton to Malone. Uh, I'm Steve Kerr. He's Michael Jordan. Um, so, yeah, there will Stockton be. Stockton to Malone. I like to say retard to pedophile. That's what I like to say. <laughs> Stockton wasn't. <laughs> He's like an anti He's oh, like he guy. was. He was an idiot. Ah, I forgot. He wanted everybody at Gonzaga to not wear masks at the basketball games in Spide like 2020. Spider pedophile. That's right. Uh, spider. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, we're uh, fuck the Jazz. Fuck the Utah Jazz. That's right. Uh, Poverty like organization. Jerry, Jerry Sloan. Yeah. You fucking... I'm dropping R's at the end <laughs> Shut of this. Up! Bleep him. Spring don't no, don't censor him. People need to know that if you're if you're gonna if you're gonna. I want the Irish women to know what they're getting, and <laughs> I'll I'll show them that picture, and then I'll play the the last ten seconds of this, and they'll know. And maybe <laughs> maybe maybe one of them wants to get away from their parents and their life on the farm, and then they'll come here and slurp you and She's smack you around a little though. bit. I, don't I want know, a black Irish bitch. I want a red haired <laughs> Irish bitch. You don't want uh, Thin Lizzy singers uh, offspring Phil. to come. What's his last name? McCracken. Like one... <laughs> Bert McCracken from the Used. No, Phil. Phil, Phil McCracken. McCracken. With your penis. It's a. It's an old Irish joke. From the it's the only good. Days. It's the only good classic rock band. <laughs> Thin Lizzy. Yeah. What about Mountain, bitch? What about James Gang? Mountain has one good song. They have several, but. Then Lizzie's um, probably better than Mountain overall. Overall, maybe. Is Sabbath p classic rock? Yeah. Yeah. They're fucking good, I guess. Anyway, yeah. let's go to blacksabbath.com for <laughs> tour dates. Yeah, go play to Sweet Avenged Leaf. Play us out with Sweet Leaf. Yeah, go to avengesevenfold.com <laughs> to see where they're going to be and try to see them play before, before uh, it's too late. Before the Rev dies. Uh, anything else, Becker? You get the last word. Bye. Cool Love hair. You.